Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. So today I will be doing a video and I am not centered off. I am sorry. And so I changed a couple things in my room uh, since last week and it is Sunday. So of course this video is late and my I took a shower. So I just put my hair into tightly braids just to get it out of my face so it doesn't look weird. So guys, and I also said that my makeup collection Story of my life. Okay, that's not gonna say that way. Thank you. So if you guys want a makeup collection, I will be doing that. So today I'm not doing a tag, but I do have my binder here with some stuff I written down, and it is actually my Sephora wish list. Now I kind of want this to be a new series on this channel. Uh, oops. <laughs> uh, like a wish list kind of thing because I'm actually really I really love doing this <gasps> no frick on the paper there's like this little sealy thing and if you touch it it smushes everywhere and then my prices are all messed up frick and I need to know that okay so getting into this I'll fix that later don't worry uh, so yeah, if you guys want a makeup collection, I will be doing that if you guys really want it. It is, I guess I'll do a makeup and hair collection because I said that my vanity, so I am excited. And I cleaned my room, so I'm also excited. And so this has been the first Sunday in a little while that I've actually been super duper happy. So if you guys want a room tour, I will probably be doing that on my other channel. But yeah, my makeup and hair collection, comment down below or like this video if you want to see that. So yeah, I'm getting into this video, so let's go. Now, all of these things are under 30 bucks. So I just wanted to get that out there and everything, and this is Sephora. So in this video also shows you that there are things in Sephora that are actually really good brands and really do work. So I'm going to get to it. First thing I want is $29, uh, how do I say, okay, I'm going to do that, $29, and is the Cl Clinique Stay Matte Sheer Pressed Powder, because the powder I have, which is right here, it's e.l.f., and it's honestly an awesome thing, like I love it, I'm in the shade ivory but I've actually hit pan if you can see that it's only uh, I've only hit it a little bit but you know might as well get a new one and that's actually a uh, not a drugstore brand so yeah next is $15 and it is the Sephora collection colorful blush because I actually got rid of my one blush and the blush I have is a really dark shade of blush and it comes with a bronzer so yeah and it's ultra brand so yeah and it's only 15 bucks so you know might as well get it next it the, is 18.50 and is the Clinique take the day off makeup remover for lids lashes and lips for right now I've been using a forever 21 brand and I find that it actually doesn't really work or doesn't really take off anything uh, as much as you can see like I have dark stuff that's because my makeup didn't wash off so yeah and Clinique I don't uh, okay this is not working Clinique see you can see that so it's not good whatever will that work oh well hopefully you can do not mind the green and yellow part uh it actually really works so i trust the clinique brand next is sephora next is four dollars and it's the sephora collection Expl express cleansing wipes and because the sephora collection is actually really cheap as i said four dollars so i will try and see if that works so yeah might as well next the urban decay naked two basics and uh i've always wanted an urban decay naked palette but i might as well get the basics and so it's not fifty dollars uh, but this one was actually 29 so right under my budget limit. So yeah, next is $25, and it is the Bobbi Brown Long Wear Gel Eyeliner, because the eyeliner I have, once again, is, uh, uh, what's it called, Elf, so it's good, but I actually find with this that, like, it kind of flakes off a little bit, and... So, yeah, and it doesn't all stay if, like, little spots are gone. And so it's not that good. And also, 
this, I'm so shaky when I use it. So, like, with gel liner, eyeliner, I feel like I can do better with it. So, yeah. Next is the, I can't, this is one of the prices I can't tell. I'm going to go get it real quick. And I'm back. Uh, so that's 25. That's, I'm pretty sure this says 7 as the Kat Von D Link Ink Eyeliner. Uh, I don't know why I need that. Another eyeliner. You know, you never go bad with eyeliner. Next is, I'm guessing, 27. Never, okay, 27. And it's Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow powder duo because I've actually seen everyone use this and what right now I'm just using like eyeshadow for brows and my brows are not on fleek right now so yeah mm -mm. next I can't even tell the price oh wait because there's not a price there okay next is $12 and it is the Bobbi Brown Insta Long Wear makeup remover because uh, I need as much makeup remover so I can feel free to wear makeup remover every, to wear makeup every day that I'm going out or that I'm going to school because um because and also I just want to put this out there now that it oh now that it's becoming summer I've been feeling more productive uh and I'm so excited for summer um I just can't wait there is actually like two I'm going into my Tomorrow I will be starting my fourth week left of school, if that makes sense. So, yeah, so I'm so excited. I actually get off on the 21st, so I'm excited. So, yeah, and I think the 21st is a half day, and then actually, I usually don't go to the half days because there's really nothing there, so. But I actually went to the half day last year because that was my last day of, oh, whatever. Off of the topic. Next is the $21 Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick. I actually don't have them picked a color. I'll pick it when I actually try and buy it. And it just looked so cool. And it looked like it had a lot of lipstick in it. Sorry, I'm messing with my hair a lot. So, yeah. Next is the uh, uh, $13. $13. 